morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is memorial of St. Basil the Great and Gregory of Nyanzanzan. Basil was born of a Christian family at Caesarea in Cappadocia in 330. Conspicuous for his learning and virtue, for a time he led the life of a hermit, but in 370 was made bishop of Caesarea. He fought against the Arians and wrote many admirable works, especially his monastic rule, which many Eastern monks still follow. St. Basil died on January 1, 379. Gregory of Nanjansen was also born in 330. Traveling as a youth in the pursuit of learning, he first joined his friend Basil as a hermit and was later ordained priest and bishop. In the year 381, he was elected bishop of Constantinople. However, because of factions dividing the church, he returned to Nanjansen where he died on January 25, 389 or 390. He was called Theologus because of his outstanding teaching and eloquence. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let Come us worship Christ, Christ, Chief Shepherd, Shepherd of the flock. the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal, his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage, and enter the presence of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread, by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng while we joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me, as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send His loving kindness by night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in red of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The faults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There He has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from, coming from His tent rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops St. Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever. I never. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father. But whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He made us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from Him remains in you, so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But His anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false. Just as it taught you, remain in Him. And now, children, remain in Him, so that when He appears, we may have confidence and not be put to shame by Him at His coming. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. 
all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. In times past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through His Son. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize, if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptized with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It is said that actions speak louder than words. Naniniwala ba kayo dyan? Actions speaks louder than words. Kung anong ginawa natin sa labas, yun ay nanggagaling sa loob. At hindi lahat na sinasabi natin ay totoo. Yung mga salita na nanggaling sa ating bibig, kuminsan ay salita ng pambubula. Kasi nungalingan, hindi totoo. Hanggang gagawin ang isang salita at makita, ito ay ang totoo. Action speaks louder than words. Kakatapos lang ng New Year, ng unang araw ng New Year and uh, some of us might have that New Year resolutions. Di ba? Uso naman yun, di ba? <laughs> na sa New Year 
Meron tayo mga promises. Meron tayong sasabihin na yung mga pagbabago natin ay dapat natin gawin. Yung mga masamang nangyayari at nakalipas, sa nakalipas na mga araw, nakalipas na taon, ay dapat mapapalitan. At ito ay mga promises, mga salita na dapat nating patunayan ngayon. Na dapat natin isabuhay ngayon. Or else, those resolutions will just remain as resolution but will not be acted upon. And it will not be a true, a truthful kind of life that we will live. Mabubuhay lamang tayo sa pambubula. Mabubuhay lamang tayo sa mga salita, pero hindi sa gawa. When some of the priests, Levites, and even Pharisees sent fillers to ask John, Who are you? Are you the Christ, the Messiah? Are you the prophet? John simply say no. Nagpapakatutuo lamang siya. At sino ka? Sabi ni Saint John, I am just a voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. Isang boses, isang salita, ngunit pinatunayan ni Juan Bautista ang kanyang mga sinasabi sa pamagitan ng kanyang buhay? Saan siya nakatira? Sa disyerto? Anong kanyang dabit? Sheepskin? Anong kanyang kinakain? Wild honey and grass supper. Why? Because John the Baptist is preparing the way of the Lord. And for that matter, he must be the first one to witness on how someone were going to prepare the way of the Lord. To straighten the life, to straighten the way. Ayusin ang buhay. At ito ang resolusyon natin na maayos natin ang buhay sa pamagitan ng ating pag-isa sa buhay at hindi hanggang salita lamang. Yung, yung mga may New Year resolutions ng hanggang salita lamang is considered as liars, di ba? Mga sinungaling. Kasi hanggang salita lamang, hanggang promises lamang, pero hindi ginagawa. Maging mabuting kristyano tayo kapag tayo ay maging totoo at tapat sa katotohanan. At wala nang ibang witness about the truth except our own very self. Tayo mismo ang mga witnesses, lalong-lalo na sa presensya ng Diyos, lalong-lalo na sa pag-isa buhay ng buhay ng ating Panginoon. We need a Savior. We need a Savior. And nobody else can save us from this world except God. Yung hindi maniniwala, 
ang sabi ni Saint John sa ating unang pagbasa, our liar. She does not believe that he needs a savior, is a liar. And he who does not believe in Jesus Christ is a liar. On how are we going to prove that we are not liars? Certainly, actions speak louder than words. Kung tunay tayo ng mga Kristiyano, isa buhay natin ang ating pagkakristano. Sundin natin ang yapak ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And for that matter, ang lahat ng mga New Year resolutions natin ay maging totoo at maging masaya tayo at maging totoo mga Kristiyan. You'll stand. St. John the Baptist considered himself unworthy of the work entrusted to him by God. Nevertheless, he fulfilled his mission in the spirit of service and humility. With that same spirit, it has approached the Father to assist us in our needs. For every intention we say, Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. <coughs> that the servants of the church may carry their task with humility and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That civil authorities may have the sincere intention of working for the welfare of all citizens and seeking the common good instead of their own interests. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That parents and teachers may inspire and encourage their children and students to persevere despite hardship and failure. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That the sick may feel secure by our love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your Spirit be upon us. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your Spirit be upon us. For the intentions of Brother Agus Hermawan, who is celebrating his diaconate thanksgiving today, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. For the intentions of, of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us that the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. In silence, we also include those who are celebrating the birthday today for the anniversaries. O Lord, through St. John, you teach us to become humble servants. Grant that we may follow his example and come to share our life in the kingdom where you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory, a means to our eternal salvation to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. As for the festival of St. Basil and Gregory, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of their holy life, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out 
for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Alpo and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his assistant, Gerard, our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, Saint Basil, and Saint Gregory, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching be there to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, he might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only Blessed say the word, my and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pangpagkap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostia at sumagot ng Amen, at isubo na agad ang ostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad, at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng ostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. For those who were not able to receive the Holy Communion, uh, we are very sorry that uh, uh, we lack our consecrated hosts. First time mangyayari ito dito sa ating minor basilica. So, uh, we still have the 7.30 Mass. If those who have not received would like to receive Holy Communion, uh, they can... Uh, receive po at 7.30 Mass. Please stand. Okay. 
Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you, for you will go before, before the Lord to prepare his way, way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Those, those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us to Christ our Lord. Amen. In behalf or in the name of our Dominican community here in the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manaval would like to express our greeting of Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Pa. I would like also to thank you for your presence, especially for celebrating with us actively uh, during this Eucharistic celebration. Ingat po tayo, pandemic is not yet over. Let us celebrate New Year without any sickness or illness. So let us continue praying. Let us ask the blessing, the protection of our Lady of the Rosary of Manaval to intercede for us and to help us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick at home or in the hospital. We will also bless your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So we kindly restore our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawal, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were grateful to bless your holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.